Hello and welcome to the Film Story Recap channel. Today we changed the style of the movie and brought a comedy film. I think many people have seen this movie scene, but don't know the origin of this movie scene, and it is from the movie I am talking about today. Let's see how a fierce man is born. The story takes place in a remote mountain village. The village is relatively poor. All the men in the village have gone out to work. Only a young man named Gangso was left. One day Gangso was drinking, suddenly men from the next village came to pick a fight. They surrounded him and taunted him a lot. The owner's wife came and told him to stay out of trouble. The man in the lead picked up a glass and crushed it with one hand, trying to deter Gangso. Unexpectedly, Gangso grabbed the charcoal fire in the stove and threw it into the water. The man swung his fist at Gangso, but Gangso was still drinking calmly. The man punched Gangso in the face again, and the blood from the corner of his mouth dripped into the wine glass. Gangso did not care and drank again. The man was furious and threw another punch. This time Gangso no longer holds back. Three times to knock the man to the ground. After that, he scared the group of people behind him and ran away. The women behind him praised him for his charm. Unexpectedly, an old woman came out and said he was a castrato. Listen to the old woman's words. It seems that she has personally experienced something. He told the girls about it. One night not long ago, Gangso was hawking with pastries when he suddenly heard a sound of water. He peeked forward. What he saw? I believe I do not need to elaborate. Gangso was just about to leave when he was suddenly called by the woman inside. Gangso went in nervously, but suddenly, he was pulled into the water. After three seconds, Gangso came to his senses, but he found an old woman opposite him. He was so scared that he screamed out loud. From then on, the old woman learned his secret. And soon after that, all the women in the village knew it too. The eyes that looked at him also turned to ridicule. But no one could have known. In the near future, they will all be defeated by Gangso's power. Gangso's brother bathing in the lake. The women were watching and commenting on it. How Gangso and Gangmok so big difference, and all this was heard by Gangso behind them. Gangmok stood up. The women were stunned one by one. Gangso also left in disgrace. He went to the top of the mountain to take a piss. An old Taoist priest came next to him. Gangso was shocked. The old Taoist priest didn't even have to look. Hearing the sparse voices on the side, he knew that he was the famous Gangso from far and wide. At night, Gangso came to the bar for a drink but was taunted by a soft man. He was so angry that he overturned the table and broke the wine jar. The owner's wife swung her beloved stick and was about to hit him but was stopped by a hand. Gangmok pays the boss's wife a sum of money and then wants to take his brother Gangso home. But Gangso not only refused to listen but also smashed some more wine jars. Gangmok had to knock him out and carry him home. As they were walking along the road, a wet woman suddenly came in front of them. The two brothers look stunned. The woman's name is Dal Shui. She suddenly started to dance. Looking at the woman in front of them, they were tickled. After the dance was over, the three of them walked head on, but the road was too narrow, and Gangmok fell into the river with Gangso on his back. The two men went to shore and lit firewood to keep warm. Gangmok also remembers what happened once. The two brothers were selling cakes on the street that day. Afterward, Gangmok performed acrobatics. Unexpectedly, the headband on his head got caught in the fire and accidentally set fire to Gangso's pants. Gangmok found out and made Gangso lie down, then rush over, hard, to help him put out the fire, but the fire was too big to put out. Gangmok walked backwards, then sprinted, and with a click, the fire finally went out. Since then, Gangso has become an ornament. One day Gangso was washing clothes with the men of the next village by the river and chatting. Suddenly, someone mentioned a woman named Dal Shui. They said that this Dal Shui was not very smart. The enemy had captured her because of the war and was abused. After sneaking back, she became abnormal. But when it comes to her face, everyone still praises her. So a few people had a bold idea in their minds. Two feet swimming towards the men in the shower. The men were dumbfounded. Shortly after, Dal Shui surfaced. After swimming around, she found that her shoes were missing. In a flash, the river was in chaos as they all scrambled to find shoes for Dal Shui. Since that day, Gangso seems to have fallen in love with Dal Shui. He would come to the mountain every day to bring food to Dal Shui. He did all this and Dal Shui saw it all. One day some men were spying on Dal Shui. And the women who were passing by caught them. They felt that Dal Shui was a threat to their status. So they punched and kicked her. At the critical moment, Gangmok came out to relieve the situation. The women had to leave. 
Gang Mok took Dol Shui back home. He said he felt sorry for her and wanted to give her a home. Told Gang So that this is your sister-in-law. Gang So couldn't accept this matter. He went to the river alone to enjoy the moon. Suddenly, he heard someone asking for help. He saved an old man and a child. To thank him for saving his life, the old man guided him to a barren land. He dug up a bottle of wine from the ground, but the old man warned him that he could only drink one sip. If he drank too much, there would be serious consequences. And after drinking the wine, he could not touch women for 15 days. If he survives these 15 days, his whole body will be stronger anywhere. That's right, anywhere. After Gang So took a sip of wine, he suddenly remembered the mockery of the village people. He suddenly lost control of himself and drank all the wine in one gulp. After that, he fell into a 15-day long sleep. When he woke up and went to the village, he found that there was a war. Gang Mok has gone to the battlefield in his place. When he returns home and sees Dal Shui lying on the floor, he is surprised to find that he has an erection in his lower body to release the strength in his body. He went to the yard and chopped firewood all day and all night. After tired to the river to drink water and accidentally drank the whole river, the old Taoist priest at the top of the hill saw the fire on the hill. He decided to pee to put out the mountain fire. And then Gang So came and sprayed the water cannon directly. The villagers were also saved. But the water is a bit smelly. The huge water cannon broke the waterfall. Even the sun could be doused. The old Taoist master was shocked at his jaw. The rescued princess grabbed the binoculars to see her savior. The barmaid also saw Gangso's action, and Gangso only left a dashing back. After this incident, the women of the village talked about it, although not seen with their own eyes, but are describing how long his lower body thing really is. For this reason, they approached the bar owner's wife, because she was the one who witnessed it. The owner's wife picked up a fish head with her hand. She said this was just the length of the front end. The crowd was wide-eyed. In the evening, Gangso wanted to learn how to use the new weapon, so he started to practice playing shuttlecock. And a group of people gathered on the roof of his house. They wanted to see how long he was. Gangso didn't see the people on the roof. Practice on your own. Now several people can all stunned. They all opened their mouths wide. After Gang So finished practicing, he started to make cakes. The majestic sound of making pastry caused the women in the village to stay awake at night. They even gathered in the village square one by one. They danced to the sound. Under the last heavy blow of Gang So, a few people danced directly to the moon. The next morning, Gang So went to the street to sell pastries. The women were so excited to hear the sound that they used their best skills. But Gang So was not interested at all. A few of them took out sacks and covered Gang So with them. Gang So threw them out with force. To succeed in taking Gang So down, they gathered together to discuss countermeasures. The bar owner decided to take the lead. She came to Gang So's house early at night, trying to lure Gang So into the bait. But Gang So was not moved at all until he saw the full moon in the sky, and his eyes started to glow with blood. The next second, the boss's wife was pulled into the room, with the strong vibration and the shout that broke the sky. The other sleeping women were woken up one after another. One by one, they came to Gangso's door with gifts, as if they were concubines waiting to be pampered by the emperor. First, they asked how the boss's wife was feeling. The boss's wife said she might have to recuperate for a month. In the three days and nights that followed, Gangso's home is still crowded. Due to the extraordinary level of drama, it is better to watch this part by yourself. Not long after, the princess approached Gangso. She wants him to represent her country and hold a competition with the Westerners. As soon as he wins, he will find back the brother who has gone to war. Gangso decisively agreed, but the competition was a bit odd. It was a competition for lower body pressure resistance. Looking at the man in front of him, he was very strong. And look at Gangso, very weak. Soon, the competition started. The man were the first to appear. Seeing the iron balls hanging one after another, the crowd was amazed. Finally, the third one was hung. Man can't hold on this time. Next came the Gangso challenge. He just got hooked up to an iron ball and he started shaking. The princess saw that this could not be done. So she used the killer technique. The princess action gave Gangso an instant boost of power. One by one, the iron balls were hung on his body. He did not seem to feel a trace of pressure until the body has nowhere to hang. He directly bounced off the iron balls on his body. This time he won the game without any problems. The princess hosted a banquet for Gangso. She had already sent someone to look for his brother's whereabouts. Then came the news that Gangmok had died on the battlefield. Gangso returned home after learning this. 
He locked himself in his room. Until that day, Dal Shui was not feeling well. Gang so went out and invited the old Taoist priest. The old Taoist priest said Dal Shui heart fire attack body. The general method is not able to save her. If you really want to save her, then only you can do it. I believe that the rescue method I do not need to say more. We also understand that. By the next day, Dal Shui recovered. The uneventful days went on for a long time. There was a big drought in the village, which caused all the crops to die. The local authorities found an old man who wanted to find a solution. The old man said that the mountain goddess, the bear woman, was lonely and had sent the disaster. As long as we find a man full of virility to sacrifice to her, then the village will be able to make the wind and rain. But how could there be such a man full of virility? Under the guidance of the old man, people came to an open space to dig. After digging for a day and a night, they finally dug up a bottle of medicinal wine. If they drank the wine, they would be filled with yang energy, but they found that only an empty bottle was left. At that moment, the old man remembered the Gangso of the village. The old woman learns that Gangso is in danger, so she rushes back to report the news. On the way, he came across Gangmok returning. He rushed to tell Gangso about the incident. At that moment, Dal Shui fainted and fell to the ground. Gangso then took her to the old Taoist prize, but then Gangmok returned home, and Gangso felt ashamed to meet his elder brother, so he secretly took Dal Shui and left. When he arrived at the old Taoist priest's place, the old Taoist priest told him the good news that Dal Shui was pregnant. This was good news. But then Gangmok came back. Gangso had mixed feelings. He had just left the house, and a group of people tried to take him away. But he broke free. He went into the prison car by himself. The old woman is also a good person and takes turns taking care of Dal Shui with the others. Suddenly, Gangmok came in. Asked Dal Shui said younger siblings how is your body? The others were bewildered. Isn't this his wife? How did she become his younger siblings? Gangmok explained in a calm manner. It turns out that before Gangmok left for war, he already gave Dal Shui to Gangso, but he didn't tell Gangso himself. Dal Shui also has been unclear, which led to this misunderstanding. The scene shifts to the deep mountain. The people are holding a strange ceremony. At night, Gangso was sent into the cave. After a scream, there is no more sound inside. Not long after, it rained in the village, and everything came back to life. Gangso also became the hero of the village. He left behind ten sons. The ten sons also inherited Gangso's virtues. They left a beautiful fountain in the air. A happy ending to the film. Well, remember to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.